Hey, what's up guys? Here in the kitchen today, we're going to be making some of my chicken. And sometimes, guys, I like to have chicken that's not just grilled. You know, sometimes you get plain old chicken and you grill it, which that's cool. But I sometimes like to, you know, uh, play around with my food. So sometimes I, I fry it, which may sound bad, but it's really not because your body naturally needs fat to, uh, you know, promote healthy... Uh, Hormone levels and all that. So we're gonna be making this today. We're gonna be making chicken. We're gonna uh, use the egg to get sticky, and then we're gonna uh, batter it with gluten-free breadcrumbs, and then we're gonna pan fry it in coconut oil, season it, and then we're gonna put it in the oven. So let's get on to it. So what you want to do first is crack an egg into here, remove the egg yolk. And we're going to use this to make the chicken sticky so that we can add the breadcrumbs. For this particular meal, I decided to just use one of the breasts. So de depending on how much chicken you want to make, you know, of course you want to increase the amount of eggs you put in here. Because if you just cook one, then you're only going to need one egg. But if you cook uh, the whole packet, which is three, you're probably going to need two. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So the rest is pretty self-explanatory, guys. You just got to get this chicken real nice and sticky. That's what she said. I know. You take it out and put it in here. And then when this is, you know, it's kind of hard to do with one hand, guys, but you just uh, batter it in there and make sure it absorbs all the breadcrumbs, okay? What you want to do next is uh, heat up the skillet to about medium and get ready to put this coconut oil. In the meantime, I'm going to season the chicken. I only like to season one side because I'm going for low sodium, but you can do both sides if you want. Okay. Right, so that should be enough so I kind of just want to emphasize back on the point about the fat if you're going for a low fat diet then that's that's totally cool just grill the chicken uh, don't bread it of course just grill it in very light butter and water and season it with your favorite seasoning but for me I believe in having a balance of all three macronutrients which are protein carbohydrates and fat because your body just functions better if you give it all the three macronutrients, which is what your body needs to promote healthy testosterone for men. Uh, just your body feels better if you give it all three. And that's just what your body needs to run and function properly. So after this, guys, you're just going to have to grill your chicken for a little bit. I recommend about a minute on each side. You see how it looks real good. Very small of that garlic and herb seasoning. So yeah, just let it cook for about a minute or two on each side, and then we're gonna get ready to put it in here. Uh, spray this with some cooking spray, cause then it's gonna get sticky, okay? And just so you guys are wondering, the oven is at 420. All right guys, so once the chicken is pan fried, you're gonna get it, you're gonna put it in the oven in 420 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes, okay? So. Keep an eye on that. Okay, so I wish you guys were here to smell this, but you guys can look at it. It's like getting really good. It's cooking in there. It's been cooking for about 10 minutes, so we're going to come back and see the finished product soon. All right, guys, so as you can see, this is the chicken right here. It looks real good, crispy, and the fat, guys, 24 grams of fat is not a lot. 24 grams is about a candy bar, so... You could either be having a candy bar or you could be enjoying this. That's actually good for you. So as you can see, I'm done. I decided to add some yogurt and some milk to add some more protein in this meal. And yeah, guys, um, hit, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you like this. If you want to see more videos like this, comment down below. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye.